Hey, what's up everybody? Russ with rwgresearch.com and quantumgravityresearch.org. So I thought I'd make just a very simple short follow-up video showing some of my 3D prints of the QSN. Um, I'm also going to show you my hot end because some people are asking about that. Um, there will be a full video on that later, but for now I'll just give you a quick glimpse because I'm rebuilding something on it. So, here we go. All right. So this is the only full-size version that I printed, 178. Um, something important here is I used a 0.4 millimeter nozzle on everything I'm going to show you right now, and I'll show you the nozzle. It is a premium tungsten nozzle. So full-size scale, okay, actually was hard to print because of the slicer. I think Cura could handle it a lot better, but I used uh, simplified 3D. So there's that. All right, here's a 50% of scale. This one's been dropped a few times, but it doesn't look too bad. Get you kind of a close-up so you can see. It's all right. All right, the next one I'm going to show you here, 40% of scale. I'll get my flashlight to give you a little bit more light there. So set this down so it's steady for you. It's easier to uh, hold this and show you that. So this is what it looks like. It's not too terrible. All right, so and the bottom broke off on some of these. That just happens. Okay, so here we have a 30%, and that thing is 52 millimeters tall. Now this is like getting pretty down to the point where you you almost shouldn't be able to print this on an FDM. Um. So, yeah. Move this back a little bit. I don't want too much light. I just want to I really want to show you the details So I was actually having extrusion extrusion problems on this one, but you know when you hold this in your hands Look look how small uh, Small this thing really is So that's 30% of scale Get you even closer here. I really do want you to see the detail Because it's pretty amazing that you can even do this with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. There are definitely some errors, and um, the one I gave Angus is a little better than this. This one is, I don't know, it's having some problems with my extruder. I believe I fixed it though. So that's all fine and dandy. That's pretty interesting. And 52 millimeter tall. Now we're going to go down to the 25 millimeter tall version. This guy's 14%. Now this is the one I had there that I showed Angus. And you can see it's got a lot of problems and that is due to over extrusion and some other problems I was having and right before I left on that Wednesday morning I had one to print and I started the wrong one so then I had to go to work and I just didn't have time to go back home I didn't want to go that way and I should have because this is the one that I was gonna give him all right, this guy's sitting on an SD card. Look at that. It is the same size as the SD card. Now, it's kind of rough. However, that's a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Now, if you look at the top, you can tell. You see how big the the extrusion uh, width actually is each blob you can see like running up this rail right there you see each blob that's and the top you can see how big the the diameter of the nozzle is where it stopped at the very top and then pulled itself away now the bottom doesn't look quite as nice but all the supports came off but I yanked the the bottom was attached but I cut it off on accident bummer right but yeah look at that we're sitting on an SD card. <laughs> now for FDM, okay, to be able to see, of course you can't see those little stars, it's just ridiculous, but to see the structure at all in this detail is just, it's crazy. It really is crazy. I mean look, if I hold this thing in my hand, look at it. Alright, this is next to a 50% scale. <laughs> it's insane. It's just crazy. It really is nuts. So anyway, I wanted to show you my 
my best little one to date. And darn it, I didn't bring it to the conference because, or the meetup, because I didn't have it. Wasn't finished, started the wrong one. Which is okay, but it's pretty insane. Those extra little blobs and things and stuff, you can see the layer height. So I set my settings really, really crazy, like things you would never really print with in order to achieve this. So the layer height was, I think, 0.13. And the nozzle diameter was somewhere around point one point uh, yeah the nozzle diameter was somewhere around point one something point one eight maybe don't even remember but I'm gonna keep messing with this because I think this is pretty cool that you can even print something so small I added this to the Thingiverse profile because I think it's pretty awesome well come on stand up there you go yep there's an SD card next to it. It's pretty insane, man. All right, so let me show you my extruder hot end, okay? Now, um, I spent a lot of time making different things, and I came to this conclusion. I found this extruder. It's called the Ubis, and uh, you can look it up. And this is almost a replica of that, but it's just got a few different parameters such as this dark material you see right there that is actually copper so this whole entire piece is copper and again I'll make a later video on this of me building it I recorded of me building it but I just didn't have time to show you guys and then there is actually a piece of peak in between the hot zone and the aluminum okay and the insulator or the uh, Teflon tube here PTFE runs all the way down to the place where it hits uh, there's a copper piece here and then the nozzle and those two when they get pressed together that's how they seal and so this is the copper parts threaded into the peak and that runs all the way down again I'll show you on a different video but I had this thing apart and I was working on it and I thought I'd just show you so there's the camera on there and you can see how the camera peaks right past there the colors aren't great on this right now for some reason I just added this bigger fan. I had a much, much smaller fan on there, but this is temporary as a test. And then uh, there's lights. You see the lights on the inside. They're on a ribbon strip. I was going to make a video of that, and again, didn't have time yet. So what that is, is if you take apart an LCD screen, the right ones, this is actually from an iPad. They have these LED strips that light the background up. And I just took that strip off, wired it up properly, and connected it to... A voltage, uh, an actual limited power supply where I can adjust it to the right brightness so I don't burn the LEDs out. I do have an, a resistor on here just in case I go too high. So that's that. And then the cool thing is, is most of you won't believe this, but this is one of the extruders I made back in 2014, maybe 2014. And there's a video of me building this. You can see it. And uh, the Teflon tube I got in here, you can see how it's. How it's set up it's actually just a Teflon tube that goes all the way through that I just notched on both sides and I did that so I could just be 100% sure I didn't have any jams now when I'm running really really hard filament like acrylic it breaks it so I have to take that tube out but when, when I'm running rubber TPU or something like that I definitely need it now this gear I get a closer shot of this thing this uh, this hobbed gear in here, I made myself. And there's a video. I'll link it in the description. But it's called The Sounds of Making a Hobbed Gear. So I actually made that gear myself. And of course, designed and printed this whole thing. And then here's the, uh, there's a spring attached to this guy. Broke this thing off about four times. I just keep heating it up and gluing it together. It's still holding. Anyway. All right, peace and love. God bless you guys. I just wanted to show you this madness. This is insane. I mean, this is crazy. To think that there's even any detail at all is, like, miraculous. And, you know, this one is actually pretty darn good. All right. That's all I got for you. Another ten minutes. Why do I make such long videos? Anyway. 
by the way, this is Matter Hackers Green PLA, and so far it's one of the best plastics, unless that's just pure tuning, but I've had great luck with this. So, Matter Hackers, just regular green Pro Series PLA. Seems to work pretty good. Seems to work. Seems to work pretty good. Anyway, I'm out. I need some rest. See ya.